UMass Boston Baseball taking on Loris College down in Florida. Beacons, their first game of eight games down in the Sunshine State over the course of the next week or so. And their offense was off and rolling early. Drew Metzdorf with a single in the first inning with two outs leads to Aiden Blake's RBI double to center field. The center fielder went for the dive, unable to corral it. Blake in the second, Metzdorf in the home. Beacons are ahead one to nothing. Craig Corliss adds to the scoring in the first with an RBI single up the middle, scoring Blake from third, 2 nothing UMass Boston after one. And then Mariana Jimenez would add an RBI of his own in the second inning, his single to left field. He'd advance to second, Joey Morrison advanced to third as Brian Parker's play is close at home. Catcher arguing with the umpire, both runners move up a base. 3 nothing Beacons and Tim Sanciolo did the rest from there for UMass Boston. Six strong innings, only two hits given up, no runs, five walks, four strikeouts. He threw 95 pitches in his outing, closed it out with that strikeout there in the sixth inning. Beacon's still up, 3 nothing, and they cracked the door open on the game in the seventh inning as it would start with Jimenez scoring from third on the play as you see him taking off on the wild pitch. The throw goes errant into the outfield. It's now 4 nothing UMass Boston. Johnny Zerilli Jr. then is going to work a walk and get on base with the bases loaded and makes it 5 nothing Beacons. Right after that, Nick Palma, the big blow of the inning, a two-run double to center field, scores Corliss and Blake. The Beacons now in front by seven runs, but they were not done just yet in that inning. Breon Parker then singles to right field, scoring Zerilli Jr. UMass Boston with a five-run seventh inning makes it eight to nothing. Loris College would scrape across a run in the bottom of the seventh inning, making it eight to one. But then the Beacons right back out in the eighth inning. Another throwing error by the catcher scores the ninth run in the evening for UMass Boston, who leads 9-1. to one. They're going to go on to win this game 9-2 to two, as Brendan Ferrari, Jackson Snyder, and Aiden McMillan all close out the final three innings for UMass Boston, who win their first game down in Florida. They take on Benedictine College today at 2 o'clock p.m. at Polk State College.